Nothing better than watching your favorite species go after that topwater bite. It's just a beautiful sight that many anglers enjoy watching. And today I'll chase a topwater bite of a different kind. One that I've never seen or experienced. On this episode, we go after topwater kings. And look, I get it. There's nothing more dangerous than calling up a flying chainsaw from underneath the Gulf of Mexico. But you're just watching, so sit back. I got something big. I don't want to jinx it, but I may have a selfish. last episode with the double hookup. We're gonna have some gnarly fun today. Y'all stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss this. I'm fatigued, heck, maybe even a little delirious. But you have to be willing to work through it, especially when Todd Johnson and Carlos Andreu sent out the invite for a special day. When the weather is so calm, it calls for topwater opportunity offshore. For now, I just want to get a feel for the bite. So I'll troll one of my favorite Yazari lures, and it doesn't take long to figure out that these kingfish are going to be hungry today. Yeah. Nah. Just trolling. Yuzuri. That's done. Got a little redfish action going on here. Yeah, top water, side casting. I know it doesn't look it, but the marsh is <laughs> perfect. This one's got a little weight on it, so. Let's see. Either that or it's just. When fatigue wild. sets in, everything can just feel a little overplayed. And while I'm all smiles at the moment, the reality of it is that I am tired, which for me results in just splurging out 100% nonsense. You guys know what ACK stands for, right? What? Always catching kings. Always catching kings. Wow, this is a little impressive. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to muscle it, but it's it's got some weight. Did you get it on a lure? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yazuri. Yeah. The pinky. I've been having good luck with that one this year. It's not that big. Just 
just feels funny with this lure. She's mad, got it right on top of the head. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, yeah. Be, uh, there we go. That's pretty. Uh, let me get you with the good side. It's safe to say that the kings are here, and while the water's a little choppier than expected, the boys have already begun calling up kings with wings. Carlos Andre is on, and it looks like a good one. I got four or five hookups, I'll go to weigh this one. Didn't look like a big fish. No matter if you've caught a thousand kings, there's just something special about the fight. And when you catch an old fish with new techniques, sometimes it can feel like you've caught a new species entirely. Heck yeah, dude, top water. The funny thing about me is I'm not really a topwater guy, but if you give me an opportunity to see a king fly, I'll definitely give that a try. So it's my turn now to see if I can call up these kings and get my first topwater fishing experience offshore. Yeah. Typically with topwater fishing, we correlate walking the dog. But, I think it's important to know that this technique doesn't necessarily translate over to the offshore world. There are different types of retrievals for different styles of lure designs. Right now, the one that I'm using is considered a tuna popper. And while I'm not on a boat, as it's easily intended use, I'm taking advantage of my instant reverse on my Old Town Predator PDL, while I assemble short, strong loads in hopes to get a King Airborne. You get airborne, Todd? And just like that, my first topwater king. Oh! <laughs> <Yippa>! <laughs> nice. Today is what we call a fishy day. And with several kings airborne, it gives me an opportunity to get some stills down the line. Look, there's no sugar coating it. This year has been tough for the offshore guys. But today we fished with some good friends and kind of reflect on some of the more important things 
which for me are the emotional attachments tied to this sport. To me, there's just something healthy about smiling, camaraderie, just having a good time with good friends and bringing that together to me is how I remember the 2020 offshore kayak fishing season.